check out this cool antique toolbox. Pretty basic construction, but then check it out. They put an add-on to have saws or something. Wow, some heavy-duty uh, bolting there to put the addition on. Mm-hmm. A place for drill bits and maybe chisels, different sizes. And a pencil. <laughs> Pretty cool. See? Clinch nails are a real thing. Still in use today. Maybe it's just on pallets, but uh, it works. Hey Tularinos, here's a hot tip. <laughs> My favorite grilling tongs had come apart about a year and a half ago. The rivet in the center was not made of a, as good a material as the tongs themselves and it had rusted apart. So I replaced it with a piece of 10 gauge copper, solid copper wire and just hammered it over on each end like a rivet. So don't forget, solid copper wire can be turned into a rivet. Alright Tularinos, I decided to uh, try out the bench heater with uh, the way it's supposed to be lit, which is to put alcohol in this tray and then uh, light it and let that preheat the little chimney and get the wick going by itself. So I'm just going to use some fuel line alcohol and we'll see how that goes. Alright, I haven't got matches in here, so I'm just going to use a lighter and then put the top on quickly. Okay, that's lit. It's making a little smoke. Well, the smoke stopped. I still see some flames in there. So, if that uh, if that works and really lights it up, then uh, that's pretty effective. It didn't make much smoke, and not for very long. All right. Well, it's definitely working. That sort of bluish flame up there is the top, and that part down down low that's the uh, that asbestos wick. And so it's probably going to burn out soon, but the the inner flame is lit because that's the uh, the chimney inside with the flames. So huzzah! It worked just like the instructions said it would.